in Pokemon Stadium. Shoot, yeah, Shoop is Mario, DK is uh, Tide. And right away, uh, I'm noticing that Tide's kind of going for uh, a really passive aggressive approach. Uh, he's like trying to weave in and out almost. Uh, tries to like run it and get a grab, or just get something started. But uh, Shoop, just kind of putting in with aerials. Not much I can really say right now, but uh, yeah. Overall though, Tide, uh, just getting hit a little bit at the beginning, but uh, again, DK with just some, like solid damage uh, and also good ability, just like hatch landings, cover options, uh, really solid in this game. Right, you, like it's re it's kind of scary to be above DK in this game because up air is just so good for like juggling and also killing eventually. Also, he has that insane range, and I think uh, that's something Mario might struggle against in this matchup, his range, but on his side, though, he has insane combo game, uh, really good aerials, really good smash attacks, good kill options, uh, and overall really good neutral, so I'm not entirely sure who's uh, favorite in this matchup, I'm not going to make any claims, but that looks like it's going to be the stop. Uh, Tide. Uh, not uh, an inter insurmountable lead by any means, but DK is a heavy, so he's going to be a little bit challenging to kill. Good, cat or good air dodge catch right there, just kind of following him and chasing him for the landing. Oh, just runs in with the DK punch! This man! This man is confident. Just... I said that the, the, I said the lead wasn't insurmountable by any means, but oh my lord. This suddenly just got a lot more intense. Shoop, really getting lost. He, it doesn't seem like he knows what he's doing. He's kind of just double jumping, trying to see if he can hopefully like land some sort of hit. Uh, tries to run in with the up smash, hopes to cover a roll in with the down smash. So, yeah, going for really risky options right now. And Ty just uh, maintaining his composure, not, not really throwing out anything unsafe. Oh, accidentally fast rolls, loses the stock, but still in a really good position. But again, Mario with that insane combo game, he's not in, out of this by any means. So we'll see what he gets. Oh, lands on stage. Gets the up air, but not quite uh, the percent start combo into anything right yet. I like the attempt by Shoot. Oh, man, that back is going to take it. Solid edge guard. I like the attempt by Shoot to go for like the fade back Nair and a down tilt, but unfortunately he misspaced the, the landing hit of Nair. So yeah, that is going to cost him first game. Uh, game one, solidly going to Tide. So. Again, uh, Mario is probably going to have a really hard time dealing with the range, and also uh, DK is just really good at just pressuring landings. So, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, kind of picking the Lilac Cruise. I'm not entirely sure like who's favoring on what uh, stages in this matchup. I think it's a pretty like back and forth. Ooh, shoot, popping to go for the Captain Falcon. Uh, so, I haven't seen, or I've seen plenty of Captain Falcon. But I still don't understand this character, so I'm gonna try to as best I can. But, uh, I think this is probably a really volatile uh, matchup, just like Mario DK. Possibly a little bit more so because uh, Falcon has like the speed uh, to just like overwhelm DK in a lot of situations. But DK also has just like a lot of. Uh, he has a really good advantage. In Captain Falcon notorious for always having like a bad disadvantage and getting comboed super easily. So yeah, this Honestly though, shoot keeping it a lot more even this game. Uh much better start. Ooh. Tough stage off or tough position off stage. Is he gonna make it back? Yeah, that's one thing about Captain Falcon in this game. Uh they buff the distance for his uh upbeat, so he's gonna go a lot farther. Like where, where he might have been dead in Smash 4, he'll definitely make it back in this game. Ooh, gets a swipe. Gonna try and catch the landing. All right, I like what Tide was going for there. He didn't want to like, he didn't want to be too committed and also didn't want to be too obvious. So he tried to just go for the F tilt. Yeah, this is really back and forth. Uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be the stock though. Yeah, cargo down throw, beat, or cargo down throw off stage. Just want to take the stock, but shoot not out this by any means. Tries to go for the first hit there, uh, but not quite going. To Again, just this like solid uh, nickel and dime advantage. Yeah, 
and tries to get, hit him with the down tilt. Ooh, interesting option with the up B. Definitely, I definitely respect the attempt. Uh, up B is a really good kill option in this game. Also, a surprise move without shield. Good edge guard by Shoot, realizing that uh, you can just like hit DK there, and also just seeing him recovering. Also, good recovery. So, Ty has usually just been able to like go out there and hit him with back air, like uh, game one. But Shoop doing a really good job of like fast falling just to try and avoid the back air and recover super low. Uh, while avoiding the hitbox. And suddenly this game is just even. This game looking a lot better. I, I think the thing that uh, worked out, but we'll see how things play out. Anti trying to play again that passive aggressive versatility. He's just trying to play patience or certain situations. But... Uh, shoot, kind of just applying the pressure right now. He still has the lead overall, but that could change real quick. Yeah, this might be a stock, but we don't know. We'll see. Alright, yeah. That looks like it's going to be it. And tied up uh, two stocks to one, but not a huge lead. Captain Falcon can easily get back into this. Even if he uh, is at a high percent, one good combo from Captain Falcon. Just like in any other Smash game, except for maybe Brawl. Tries to hit him with the back over there. Keep him off stage though, so I'll let trap him. Oh, that's good wait there. Almost runs right into the DK punch, but just waiting it out. Solid stuff. Goes in for the down B, just setting him off stage again and again, but not quite sealing out the edge guard ledge trap. But that one will do the trick. Uh, up B not quite going to be able to grab the ledge there. And this game is certainly looking a lot more doable for shoot, but he's got to get down. He's got to find an opening. He's got to do something. Oh, that was a really good. Uh, that was a really good idea from Shoop. He tried to go for the first hit air to up air to another landing air to just keep juggling him. I've actually never seen anyone with that combo yet, but I also haven't seen too much of his character, so we'll see. Right, if you're tied right now, if you're really thinking you just want to end the set, uh, you have the lead. You had the lead. And, okay. Shoop. Doing a really good job at game two of adapting, but unfortunately going to get grabbed and DK, he doesn't have Ding Dong anymore, but Carl